Finding the widgets you need to create your mashup just got a whole lot easier with QED Wiki, OpenSearch, and ProgrammableWeb.com. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that the widget is the real meat of a mashup. Whether you call it a widget, or a gadget, or a service, it's the place where the real content meets the page. And if you're not familiar with widgets or mashups, I recommend you see one of my previous videos. You can find them easily at youtube.com slash iboyibm. Well, in these videos, you can get an explanation of what a widget is, but simply put, it's a small piece of code that allows me to do anything from simply displaying an RSS feed to actually containing some program logic that performs a function. The beauty of these widgets are they're fairly easy to make, and once you've created one, you can share them with others so they can use them in their mashups. But the question becomes, how do I find the widgets? Well, in QED Wiki, there are a couple ways. I can use my Explorer to actually list all of my widgets, all of my feeds. I can search on widgets and feeds. Or I can use the palette to search on my widgets and feeds in my local instance of QED Wiki or in a remote repository using OpenSearch. Well, if you're not familiar with OpenSearch, you can find out all about it at opensearch.org. But simply put, it's an easy way to find information on the web. In fact, if you use the search bar in Firefox or Internet Explorer 7, you're using OpenSearch. Well, one of the repositories where we can use OpenSearch to find widgets for QED Wiki is on our Mashup Hub. Mashup Hub is a place where I can store widgets, I can create widgets there, I can tag them, I can even rate them. The news here today is that we, IBM, have teamed with ProgrammableWeb.com, so now you can use OpenSearch to find widgets for QED Wiki on Programmable Web. Now, if you're not familiar with Programmable Web, I highly recommend you check it out. John Musser has been cataloging mashups and APIs for over two years, and today he's got over 550 APIs cataloged. APIs that allow you to find information from places like Google and Amazon.com and Alexa, and the list goes on and on. So now I can use the Explorer in QED Wiki, add ProgrammableWeb.com as my remote repository, and search for widgets that are stored on Programmable Web. I can even use my palette in QED Wiki, search Programmable Web as my remote repository, drag a widget out onto my canvas, and now it's added to my mashup. And I don't have to go back to Programmable Web every time I use the widget. It's stored in my local instance of QED Wiki. Using OpenSearch, and teaming with people like John at ProgrammableWeb.com, we've essentially extended what could be called the information ecosystem, using the web as a palette to create my mashups. If you want to learn more about Programmable Web, check them out at ProgrammableWeb.com. And if you want to learn more about QED Wiki, please visit us at services.alphaworks.ibm.com slash QED Wiki.